Hey guys, today I'm gonna be testing a floor paint on my walls to see if it's gonna work or not. I'll be painting my outdated wall tiles in my bathroom using Rust-Oleum Rock Solid Floor Coating System which meant for floors as you can tell by its name but I will take a risk and use it on a small wall in my bathroom today. Totally excited to see the results, I guess we'll find out together soon. I already painted my floor tiles and absolutely loved it. I have an outdated bathroom and I want to update it on a budget. So I started to work on it about 8 months ago but then I got sidetracked. So finally I am back to it. You can find the link to that video in the description below or you can click on the card right above here. Painting the floors made a huge improvement in upgrading the style to a more contemporary in my bathroom and here's an update video after using the floors extensively for about 8 to 9 months. Overall it looks still good except the raised edges got worn out a little but no peeling or anything. And look at the smooth surface tile. It looks perfect, nothing happened to it, no scratches, no nothing. So I expect the same for the wall tiles, hopefully. I know this product works wonderfully when it's used properly. Here is the other thing, I don't want to use their step 1, I only want to use their top coat, which is step 2. I think this top coat is the great part of the system. And I have it already, I don't want to go buy some other product. And here, you see, it says for use on horizontal surfaces. I went ahead and called the customer service. She was very nice and explained me how I should not use these separately on their own. They are designed to work together. But she couldn't explain me why it wouldn't work. She kept saying they should be used together. So I decided to go ahead and only use the top coat. I hope I won't be sorry for this. As always, we cleaned the surface very nicely before painting. I used grease lightning and scrubbed the surface with a hard bristled brush. Then spray the whole surface with grease lightning again. And and use the rag to wipe off the dirt and finally wipe off the whole surface with a wet clean rag taped off the edges and started to apply my primer i use sticks as a primer it's for smooth and hard to bond surfaces especially seeing the tile painting image on the can made me feel more confident using this product all the products i used in this project you can find them in the description section below and please don't forget to hit the like button for this video that helps my channel a lot i only apply a coat of primer and made sure to get all the grout lines and let it sit for a few hours to dry before i came back with my paint i'm using white it's alabama Faster white from Sherwin Williams. This is just a regular wall paint, guys. Nothing special. It's not for tiles. I know it's crazy, but I trust that I have a primer like sticks underneath, and also I have an awesome seal coat on top. So I feel like it should be okay. So we'll see. I think I'm gonna have to make another update video in probably in six months to show you guys how it holds up. This is how it looks after a coat of paint, and it already made a big difference in the bathroom. I am tired of this brown tiles the white just brighten up the whole bathroom i used the second coat of paint as you can see i used the roller i made sure not to leave any drip lines that would look really horrible if you do otherwise it's a pretty easy process just like painting a wall nothing different nothing complicated after the second coat i let the paint dry completely overnight and next day finally i came back with my rust-oleum top coat i'm using a synthetic brush as per the recommendation of the customer service lady, she said it was possible to use on vertical surfaces as long as I have a nice synthetic brush and I use a very thin layer. So you don't want to use too much. As you see here, this product is very runny and it can easily leave drip lines after you apply it. So it has to be very thin and you have to be very careful not to have any drips. So you just have to keep babysitting in short. You just have to keep going back, check if there's any lines uh, or any drips or anything like that and just softly just feather it out. And right here I also use the roller to see the difference between the brush. Yes, definitely brush was so much nicer. I didn't like how it looked 
look when I put the product with the roller. Brush is definitely better. For the whole bathroom, I'm gonna use a bigger brush, but for just this small area, this brush was fine. Here I see some drips. All I have to do is just go back and feather it out very lightly without leaving any streaks. So if this gets dry, it will become tacky. That's why we don't really have too much time. So while it's wet, you have to just get rid of the drip lines. Since it's very runny, this is normal. I guess that's why it's not good for vertical surfaces, only for horizontal. But it is possible. If you do it this way, it's possible to apply it on the walls. I am going to put second coat, but not today because I think I should do that after I paint the whole bathroom and then the last coat will seal the whole thing. I just want to have one uniform coat all over the bathroom. But so far looks good. So we'll see how it's gonna look tomorrow when it's dry. Here it is after 24 hours. It looks good and it feels good. It feels like tile. It doesn't feel like paint. This top coat left a glossy tin film over the tiles. When you touch it, it feels like tile, but certain areas didn't get the material enough. Definitely, I need a second coat like here. You can see. So second coat will take care of it. By the way, this material dries into clear. It's milky white, but when it dries, it dries clear. So you can use it on any color you like. This little experiment turned out very successful. I'm very happy with the results and now I'm gonna go ahead and paint rest of my bathroom and you will probably see that very soon in the near future. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!